Hi, I'm Naridan Sari, and in this video we're going to talk about lights. This video is for beginners. So without any further ado, let's begin. You can see if you don't have this place actors, just click on this create and place actor panel. I always like it to use it this way, okay? Go to lights and there are five type of lights, okay? The first type that I want to show you is this rect light that is a rectangular light. Okay, so if you you can see it in here, I did create one in here, and you can use it in case that you want to simulate a light that is coming from a TV or something like that, right? So you can see it in here. It emit like a rect rectangular light, and uh, if you click on it, there are some property in here that um because this is an actor it has transform as well so if you put it on a static you could you won't be able to change uh, the position of the light or the property of the light in runtime but if you put it on movable you can change the properties and position them in runtime okay so the next property is intensity so the intensity of light you can change it in here and in runtime okay uh, the next property is light color that you can select in here with color picker you can select the color that you want okay so in attenuation you can change the radius that the color of this select rect light will affect on the on the objects okay and you can see i make it uh, this much let's just go out a little bit and you can see this comb in here okay so that's for attenuation right this source width source height you can change it as well and you can see if you want a bigger tv you can do it like this okay and the next is this barn door angle and barn door length and if you change it so you can see let me show you in this in this angle you can see it better so you can see the angle of the glowing light is like this in here you can see it it will glow like this and for the bar down length you can change the length of that and after that if you change the length you can change the uh that barn door up and down and in this way as well okay so you can create a lot of cool things with this right the next thing is source texture uh let's say yeah, your tv is showing something and if you want it to affect or scene with that thing that or a tv is showing you can do it with this source texture you can put the texture on here so you can see i add this unreal engine logo in here and you can see that it emits like a light that it's like tv is showing this logo in here and that's for our source texture uh, source texture okay after that use temperature let's just put it on white again in middle in here i don't want any texture in here so again for showing you the temperature so if you enable temperature if it's hot it will be like red and if it's blue it's more hotter it's hotter than red okay so when the light is hot it will be red but if it's hotter it will get blue okay so that's what this uh, temperature is and the effect word if you disable this it's like you don't have this light if this light is turn off, turn off and you can play with that in runtime right so if you open toggle it like this it's it's it will be like a horror game right and the cast shadow is for um, when you want an object in the scene cast shadow from this light or not okay so if you enable this it will cast shadow okay and the next thing in here uh, in direct lighting intensity it's like when um, you light a scene and you want it to be as real as possible you will use this and uh, this volumetric scattering is like when you have a cloud or you have a um, fog it, it when you change this value it affect that fog less or more or whatever okay and that's what this is the next light is this a spotlight and a spotlight uh, you can see it how it, it, it is working it's like a light that has um, like a flash bulb or a car light okay and you can use it in those situations and like the rect light it has some property like intensity light color attenuation radius the radius that it affects affect the object in the scene and inner cone angle it's for um if you change this the the area around this inner angle will be maximum intensity uh, that you set in here and um, for outer cone angle it will gradually decrease its intensity until it, there is no light okay so that's what this outer cone angle for source radius soft uh, soft source radius and source length this light you you don't use it like this if you hit g on your keyboard 
hit G on your keyboard you can see everything is gone there is no shape to it so you should add a shape to this light okay whatever shape or a static mesh you know how to do that you can put it together to create a you know, light of a car okay so with this source radius soft source radius and source length you can um, simulate that uh, object and use temperature it's like red light it's it get blue when uh, it's maximum max it is in maximum value and it gets red when it's when it is hot but it, when it is hotter it will get blue okay the effect word and cast shadow and this four value it's just like red light the next light is this point light and point light it's just like a bulb and it has intensity light color attenuation rate and it has all the parameters that we talk about about those two lights before and you can play with that like intensity you can change it like um, cast shadow you can see it cast shadow for this object in here and everything use temperature and attenuation and you can see it in here you can change the values in here until you reach whatever you want and the next light that i want to talk about is directional light if you put it on your scene you can see it's like a putting a sun on our scene okay and there are some property like intensity let's just dial it down a little bit it's like ambient light right so it's when you have a sun above your scene okay so it has uh, some property like all the lights and the next light that i want to talk about this is skylight and you can see this is skylight uh, difference between a skylight and this directional light that is for a sun it's just like um uh, when you use a skylight a skylight emit light to the object and make object to light um to re-emit that light light to other object and when you have a fog you can see clearly what it does it's look very realistic okay so in the next video i will talk about this skylight and directional light and how you can have an atmospheric fog and atmospheric scene so please if you want to help me subscribe to my channel and hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching bye